Welcome to the Texas Cannabis Collective weekly update for the week of May 7th, 2022. I'm Jesse Williams. Lone Star Collective and Texas Cannabis Collective updates are sponsored by Austinite Cannabis. Austinite is an Austin, Texas, locally owned and family operated producer and seller of handcrafted cannabis products. To learn more, visit austinitecannabis.co. And Thrive Apothecary. Thrive Apothecary is doctor approved CBD. Thrive also provides cannabis clinician appointments. For more information, visit thrivetx.com. Support also comes from Oak Cliff Cultivators. Oak Cliff focuses on quality assurance with their hemp products. For more information, visit oakcliffcultivators.com. This week in Cannabis Review News, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer spoke at a marijuana rally Saturday in New York City about his status on his legalization bill. Schumer told the crowd that he has already talked to six Republican senators about the measure. Schumer will need 10 Republicans to be on board if every Democrat is on board for the proposal. Currently, not all Democrats are on board in the Senate, though. Schumer stressed that this is mainstream. A majority of America believes that we should legalize once and for all. And we are working to do that in the United States Senate. We are working hard to get that done. Schumer then stated, we're going to then get all of our Republicans on board, as many as we can, and fight until we get our 60 votes. The sooner we get this done, the better. The FDA recently sent warning letters to five companies selling Delta 8 products. The warning letters claim the companies are illegally marketing the substance with a promise of relief for various medical conditions. The companies were instructed to file a written response on how they will correct the violations within 15 working days. The agency noted that the products may be marketed in ways that put public health at risk and might be appealing to children. The FDA noted these five items. 1. Delta-8 THC products have not been evaluated or approved by the FDA for safe use. This is basically the same case for all hemp products currently. 2. The FDA has received adverse events reports including Delta-8 THC containing products. Understand this number was reported as 104 reports though. 3. Delta-8 THC has psychoactive and intoxicating effects. 4. Delta-8 THC products often involve use of potentially harmful chemicals during manufacturing warning that some manufacturers may use potentially unsafe household chemicals to make Delta-8 and also that manufacturing may happen in an uncontrolled or unsanitary settings. 5. Delta-8 THC products should be kept out of the reach of children and pets. The FDA is very concerned about the growing popularity of Delta-8 THC products being sold online and in stores nationwide. These products often include claims that they treat or alleviate the side effects related to a wide variety of diseases or medical disorders such as cancer, multiple sclerosis, chronic pain, nausea, and anxiety, said FDA Principal Deputy Commissioner Janet Woodcock, MD. A leak on the Roe v. Wade decision has a new bit of attention brought to it by Marijuana Moments' Tom Angel. Angel posted up a section of the opinion penned by Alito on Twitter noting that drugs were being brought into the discussion. Judge Alito had written in the leaked decision, these attempts to justify abortion through appeals to a broader right to autonomy and to define one's concept of existence prove too much. Those criteria, at a high level of generality, could license fundamental rights to illicit drug use, prostitution, and the like. None of these rights has any claim to being deeply rooted in history, wrote the judge. In the article penned by Marijuana Moment, it is noted that the opinion seems to argue in a little-noticed passage that the constitutional justification for Roe v. Wade is so broad that it could theoretically be interpreted in a way that invalidates drug criminalization. Alex Cry, a legal expert who specializes in drug policy, and teaches at Northern Kentucky University, told Marijuana Moment that the argument isn't without precedent, though it hasn't had much success in the courts to date. The city of Austin has passed Prop A by vote to eliminate misdemeanor marijuana arrests and ban the use of no-knock warrants. We are so grateful to everybody who went out and collected signatures and everybody who voted low-level marijuana. Now let's do this to the state, Julie Oliver of Ground Game Texas told the Texas Cannabis Collective at a Prop A watch party event. Ground Game Texas led the movement for the voter initiative. Ground Game gathered over 34,000 signatures, getting it on the ballot for voters to decide to end the arrest. Other towns are looking to take similar measures in Texas regarding cannabis to include San Marcos, Colleen, Harker Heights, and Denton. That will do it for this week of the Texas Cannabis Collective Week of Cannabis Review. This is the week of May 7th, 2022. We invite you to subscribe to our podcast, The Lone Star Collective wherever you listen to your podcast streams at. Find us by searching Texas Cannabis Collective or Lone Star Collective Podcast. We invite you to check out our articles on our website 
and subscribe to our website so you can get an update every time a piece of news comes out about either the state of Texas or cannabis going on in a national level. Have a great week and everybody be safe. <laughs>